السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ یا ربی لک الحمد کما یمباوی لی جلال وجہ کا وازیم سلطانک اللہم ربنا لک الحمد بما خلقتنا ورزقتنا وحدیتنا وفرشت عنا اللہم لک الحمد بالایمان ولک الحمد بالاسلام ولک الحمد بالقرآن اما بعد فاعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری ویسر لی امری وحل العقدت من لسانی یفقہ قولی رب زدنا علما اللہم فکہنا فی الدین اللہم انا نسالک علما نافعا وعمل متقبلا ورزقا طیبا آمین یا رب العالمین رب یسر ولا توسر و تمیم بالخیر اللہم صلی علی محمد و علی محمد اللہم صلی علی محمد و علی محمد اللہم صلی علی محمد و علی محمد So lesson number 20, we are going to continue. And uh, one thing uh, from last class, I want to just uh, correct myself if I said something wrong because someone mentioned it. And that was about Harfu uh, Ataf. Uh, Harfu Ataf can be uh, like it is a connector and it can kind, uh, we can count it Harfu uh, Ataf as a fragment as well. How it is a fragment? because uh, matuf it has two ingredients right so matuf and matufun ala so matuf is uh, one who is coming after the vow that part is matuf and then the part before vow would be matufun alay and basically they can be one bucket for example uh, in this case in this example uh, over here why is here fa'u when he raised, who raised? Ibrahimu. So Ibrahimu is this uh, Dhamma over there is telling us that Ibrahim is the doer, right? So Ibrahim, when Ibrahim al-Islam raised Qawaida min al-Bayti, foundation in the house, of the house, right? Wa Ismailu. Now, wow came and we see that Ismailu is Rafa, right? Why it is Rafa? Because uh, it is matufun ala to Ibrahimu. So this is an example that matuf and matufun ala, they can be just one ism, mufred ism, right? And in this case, we always check the, um, uh, what is that called, uh, Arab, like uh, status. So Ibrahimu is uh, dhamma, it has dhamma, so that is rafa. And Ismailu is also Rafa. So basically, Ibrahim and Ismail. Ibrahim, what label we have given to Ibrahim over there? Basically, this is the file, right? So same label is getting Ismail. So Ismailu is also going to be considered as a file. So that means they are one bucket. So actually, I can say, Vaizir fa'u Ibrahimu wa Ismailu qawaida min al-bayti. Right? But just qawaida min al-bayti came in between, but actually they are one bucket. So Ibrahimu and wa Ismailu, they are basically one bucket. So basically they are creating a fragment. Right? So that's why, and we are going to label them as a file. Both are file. So that is one example. And matuf and matufun ala, basically when they are one word, then we are going to look for their status. They should match in status. If Ibrahimu, this is the Rafa, then Ismailu, if it is matuf, then it will be with the Dhamma. If it is Ibrahima, then it would be Ismaila, right? If it was Ibrahimi, then it would be Ismaili. So they are going to follow each other in status if they are one word. But uh, they can be even not one word, they can be fragment. So a, a fragment can follow another fragment. For example, let's see if we have another example in the next one. 
yeah in the next one mostly we have examples of one word so over here we can say we can see over here amana rasulu right amana rasulu so rasulu what status is rasulu is it is rafa rafa right and uh, and its matuf is wal al mu'minuna right after wow this is rafa so basically that is uh, al mu'minuna is matufun ala to ar rasulu and we see that uh, they are matching in status are they matching in any other thing if they are, number. their number is same number no. number is same no. Rus, yeah, Rasul is uh, plural and Muminun is a plural. Yeah, Rus, no, Rasul huh? is a plural, right? No, no, Rasul is a plural. It's a singular. singular. No, it doesn't matter. It is not, yeah, not matching. It matching. is not matching, okay? Yeah. And what else? <clears throat> yes, they are kind of matching in uh, uh, type. Both are uh, Rafa. Oh, sorry, what is the type? Is uh, Both are Marifa. Marifa. Right? Yeah, but Marifa. Uh, our focus should be only status. Okay. Marifa and Nakira, common and proper. Mm -hmm. So we are going to focus on status only. Okay. So over here, this is the example that we are focusing. I think last class someone mentioned that I was saying that uh, they should match in all four properties. If I said so, so um, I think I was too hungry and I was just saying things. Okay. So, and that was uh, um, uh, misspoken from my part, okay? So basically they should match only in status. And then we can see more example over here. Kullu amana billahi. Now you, you guys see that billahi. So the word Allah over here is jar. Why? Because uh, ba is over there. Bahar fujar is making the word Allah jar in status, right? And then wow came, and what is malaikati he? Malaikati. So this is jar. Why it is jar? Because of the b. Because, because, because of the word Allah, Allah is jar, and that is motufun Allah to uh, the word Allah. So this malaika is basically malaika, and the word Allah. We can say that this fragment, and then this is one word, right? But they are being mm -hmm. motufunala to each other. Right? So they are one bucket. So that's why they are following in their status. Clear? Even wa kutubihi. Right? Why kutubi? There is no harfujar. Why this kutubi is jar in status? Because, because the Allah. Allah. Yeah, because the Allah. 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 yeah, this is motufunala to the word Allah. And same Rusulihi also. Varusulihi, right? Yes. So they are all example. Even though this is billahi, this is jar majrur fragment, this is a fragment, right? And these are one single word. So one single word can be motufun Allah to a fragment. Okay, make sense? Yes, Alhamdulillah. Okay, so that is the thing I want to mention. If I said some, something different. Okay, so now we are supposed to be on. Um, we did that one, right? Over here. Okay, now uh, in Jumla Ismia. Bigger? Okay. So what happened that uh, sometimes you see in the translation, he has or there is right? Even though there is no word in Arabic for has or have. There is no word for has and have in Arabic, but in translation we see that. How does that happen? If you guys remember our Idafa fragment, there is no word of in Arabic, but we create it. How do we create? We make our mudaf light, and we bring mudafilehi, which is jarin status. And this is how our the word off is in between. Not jar majrul fragment, idafa fragment. Okay, for example, when I say uh, uh, house of Allah, so I say um, uh, baitullah, 
So baitu, I made it light, right? No al. And then the word Allah is jar in status. And that's why I'm bringing off in between. Otherwise, they are just two ism together. Okay. So by making first ism light, no al. And second ism jar. So this is how we are bringing off. So there is no word off exists in Arabic. Same is the idea that has and have does not exist in Arabic and same is when we say there is, there is no is word is RM uh, doesn't exist in Arabic. We create them and we find them. So when we say there is or he has, what is happening basically? So this is what we are going to learn today. So if I uh, in in the example over here, laha shirbun. So laha, what kind of word is laha? One word or many? How many There's words? Word. Letters, There's huh? Two, two letters. Words. Attached to the attached. Yeah. So lam plus attached pronoun, Lata which is indicating jar matur fragment. Yes. Lahu, lahu. Okay. Now, what is shirbun? Is that uh, fail or is a word? Is no, How shirbun. No, it's a fail. Sorry. To drink. No. Isam, isam. There is no yata. Isam, because there is a, a, a tanwin in there. A um, tanwin. Yes, yes. Tanwin. Okay. See, uh, Sister Aisha is saving yeah. you guys, okay? Oh, so, sorry. She, okay. Shirbun, Shirbun has tanwin. That was our first lesson. That was our first lesson, if you guys remember. When we see tanwin or al on any word, then this is 100% an ism, not a fail. So laha shirbun, so laha shirbun. Shirbun mean like uh, drinking. Uh, sh uh, sharab is called drink. Now shirbun over here basically are uh, name of a, uh, like for example, we say sharaba. So sharaba mean he drank. Sharaba mean he drank, right? And uh, if I want to name this uh, fail, that would be shirbun. So basically, this is the name of the act. So drinking, I should say. For example, teach, what would be the name of uh, that act? Teaching. Cook, cooking, like I'm cooking something, what would be the act? And the name would be cooking, right? So this is, that is basically called in Arabic term, masdar, ism. So this is the, an ism. Now, how we are going to label it? So laha, we're gonna say in our grammatical sense, we're gonna say this is MB. MB? MBK, Mukaddam. MBK, Mukaddam, very good. Yes. Okay, this is MBK, Mukaddam. And now, what is Shirbun? So it's Ibtada. Ibtada. Muqtada and it's a delay. Muakhar. Without uh, without Muqtada, what are we going to do with the khabar? No. Yeah, without. Yes, it is common, but Muqtada can be common. That was our last class. Muqtada cannot be common. Yes. Muqtada cannot and be it is a must in order for you to have a <laughs> Yes. And uh, yeah, yeah Muqtada... And every class, Nasra. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Listen, Nasra. What happened whenever you see MBK Muqaddam, the first is some, now you should be looking for Muqtada first because what we are missing, we are missing Muqtada. Without Muqtada, we cannot have Jumla Ismiya. Muqtada is Rafa. And it should be proper, but it can be common sometimes, exceptions. Okay. Khabar is always proper and always. It's no, supposed it's to be common. It's, yeah. Okay. But uh, exception are, are there. Sometimes you're going to find it proper. So basically, the point I'm trying to tell Nasira, whenever you see an ism, and this is the case that MBK is Mukaddam, you should not be looking khabar 
before you find Muptada. So your eye should be looking for Muptada first because mu without Muptada, you cannot have Jumla Ismiya. Without Khabar, can you have Jumla Ismiya? No? No. Yes. No? Without Khabar, we can have. Without, without, it, yes. Khabar is not a necessity. You can have Jumla Ismiya without yes. Khabar. Yeah, we that, can have Muptada and Khabar and MBK and Muptada, but without Muptada is incomplete sentence. Okay, so let me repeat that over here. So for Jumla Ismiya, what are the uh, three ingredients we need? First of all, we need Muptada. Muptada. Then we need Akhabar. 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 And then we need MBK. MBK. Okay. Let's say if there is no Muptada, can we have Jumla Ismiya? No. No. No, no, yes. we mm -hmm. need, we need Muptada. Without Muptada, there is no Jumla Ismiya. Because Muptada is basically the main subject. What we are talking about? So we need to have Muptada. So okay. Muptada, let me finish. If we have Muptada and then we have uh, MBK and no Khabar, okay? Is that uh, uh, like we can have this uh, as a Jumla Ismiya? Can we co count it uh, Jumla Ismiya? Yes. 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 That, that's what I was asking. Without Khabar, we can have Jumla Ismiya, but without Muptada, we cannot have Jumla Ismiya. So that's why now you're going to say Laha is MBK, and then this Shirbu. Now, what is uh, looking like, what is most important for us is? Muptada over here, not Khabar. So we, I'm going to say this Shirbun is my Muptada. Otherwise, if I say this Shirbun is Khabar, then where is my Muptada? I don't have Muptada. This is not Jumla Ismiya. Okay? Yeah? Hmm? Yeah. अगर हम शिरपुन को पहले डाल देते हैं लाहा से पहले, for example, उसने उसको किस तरह पे अल uh, yeah, Laha, that would Laha. be Ashirbu, yes. And then Laha and uh, Exactly. Okay. So Ashirbu Laha. So that would be a regular sentence. So this is my Muptada, Ashirbu is Muptada, and Laha is my MBK. Okay. But whenever MBK is Mukaddam, and Muptada is Mu'akbar and it is common. What did I just say in the last? Common, mm -hmm. most important thing. If it is Mu'akbar but common, then there is no exclusivity. And then we, the translation should be, she has a right to drink. Or literally it gonna be for her, is a right to drink. Okay, so this is how it's gonna work. So can it or, also? Or even we can say there is, um, there is, no, that will not make sense. There is a right for her to drink, but there is no her. Uh, there is, there is for her right to drink. Drink for her. Yeah, if you like, it, it look like we are just. Uh, hmm. Not unke liye, laha yeah, is her. That is basically the uh, she camo of uh, Hazrat Saleh al Islam. Okay, so that is the, uh, they, uh, it is talking about uh, because uh, when uh, they uh, like kind of uh, ask for this uh, miracle. Right, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala gave them a huge she camel. It was not an ordinary camel, she camel. First of all, it came out of a mountain, out of nowhere. Secondly, it was so huge that she can drink the whole water in one go. That's it. So, so what happened that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is commanding them that she has a right to drink the one day was fixed for her. So oh, she is going to drink. You cannot drink that day. Leave her alone because you asked for it. So now you need to see the consequences, right? So the whole day was uh, fixed for her. So that it is saying that she has a right to drink on that day. 
Okay, so that is the case over here. So now next one is, uh, is everyone clear on that? Yes. Yes. Just one question. If we want to change into into exclusive, exclusive, then the condition will be mohar, but the not common should be proper. Then you're gonna say laha uh, ashirbu. Ashirbu. Got it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so then it's gonna be the right to drink is only, only for her. Yeah, only for her. Allah yes. Subhanahu wa Taala didn't say only for her. That was yeah. a mercy of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, right? Otherwise, yeah, exactly. Okay. So see how just little things can make a huge difference. Subhanallah. Okay. Next one. Lid uh, zakari. Zakari mean male, right? So lid zakari for the male or for the man. Mislu. Mislu mean like. Has will unsayain. Has mean share. And unsayain. What kind of word is unsayain? It's a dual for the female. female yes. Female. So what is the singular? Unsa. Monas. Okay. Monas. Yeah, this is monas. Unsa. Yes. So unsa yani, unsa yaini, unsa yaini. Muslimani, Muslimaini, Muslimaini. It's two females. What? For the dual, we we just add ani aini. Doesn't matter. It is male or female. Why is the same saying, saying, saying two females? Then we should go with the female one. Two females. So that means two females. Unsayani means two females. So that is uh, because that. Ha, okay. So let's uh, do analytical and then the translation will, will make more sense to you guys. What, what is Liz Zakari? What kind of word? It's Adaro Major. Very good. So Liz Zakari is of Char Majdur. So this is MBK. Mukaddam. Okay. And then we have Miss Lu. Miss Lu. What is the status of Miss Lu? Is it Rafa? Rafa. Rafa. Okay. So then what I'm looking at? Muptada. Muptada. Yeah, it's coming later. So it's Muptada. And then it is light. It is light, it is not Miss No Lu. exclusivity. Okay, so it no, is Miss Lu. Light. Right? So yeah. Miss Lu is light and then Hazi is what? Jarin status. Yeah. So that is yeah. our mudafilehi. Okay. And then Hazi again is light. Mm. It is not Hazin. Yes. So what should I label it then? Muda. Yeah. Okay. And Unsayaini. Is Unsayaini Jar? Yes. Is Unsayaini Jar? Sure. Hundred percent. Yes. So that is Mudafila. Is a chain of Idafa is going over here. Okay. Now, how are we gonna translate? So for <laughs> men, for male. Uh, like the share of two females. Mm -hmm. That is about inheritance. Okay. Mm -hmm. If my boy has, uh, like my two girl, my girl gonna have uh, whatever she gonna get from my inheritance, the double will get my boy. Right? So, Liz Zakari for the male person, for the male man, the uh, the share of two females for them. So this is basically inheritance is explained over here. So the male has, now where this has is coming from? Because Liz Zakari is the Mukaddam. <laughs> so the male has the equivalent of the share of two females. Okay? Yes. There is no khabar in this then? Yeah, we don't need khabar all, every time, do we? Yeah. No, we can have Hujumla Ismiya without khabar. Yeah. Just Muqtada and MBK is good enough to have Jumla Ismiya. 
This is uh, Marifa, right? Which one? Mislu? Mislu has al unsayani because al unsayani is Marifa. So yeah, then exactly. Hazi is Marifa, then Hazi is Marifa, then Mislu is Marifa. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But the, the thing is that when MBK is Mukaddam, then basically we are learning over here that how we can translate uh, with has and have. So over here we are learning, we're going to say the male has the equivalent of the share of the two females. So this Mislu Hazilun uh, Sayyain, which is our Muqtada, is that uh, Marifa or Nakida? Marifa. Is that Marifa or Nakida? The whole thing, Mislu Hazilun Sayyain. It's Marifa. Marifa. Okay, Mislu is Mudaf. How we identify that Mudaf is proper or common? Mudaf lehi. So is Hazil uh, is, uh, common or proper here? It's common. It's common, common. but it's common. playing dual role then. Common. Yeah, exactly. And then the last Mudaf lehi is going to make it proper. Proper. Right? And then it is going to other proper. Proper. Hmm. Proper. So the whole so now this uh, the whole uh, chain of idafa is basically marifa over here. So that means we are learning that doesn't matter it is marifa or nakira, right? So uh, we are basically not uh, looking at exclusivity over here. Our lesson over here is about uh, how we can put our has and ha have and has, right? So this is over here. That is the example when Muqtada was common. Over here, our Muqtada is proper. Okay. And yes, there can be exclusivity. So the two females uh, the share of two females is uh, equal, uh, yeah, is equivalent to one male. Okay, next one. After number one, after you are here until Maghrib, so <laughs> you will learn everything. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're not so going to be hungry. Sorry. Are you not going to be hungry? <laughs> we we're gonna have lunch break, inshallah. No worries. I'm talking to in-person people here. Okay, so number one, uh, over here. Now you gonna do it, okay? Yes. Lahum. <laughs> Yeah, here. Can I uh, say full sentence? So number one, Lahum Ajruhum wa Nuruhum. Beautiful aya, part of aya. Lahum is a jaru majroor and it is ambike mukaddam. And Ajruhum wa Nuruhum is one bucket, is Ajru, Mudaf, and another one is wa Nuruhum also. Mudaf, chain of the Mudaf, Mudafile is a Muktada Muakhar. And there is wow is an uh, harfu ataf between ajruhum and nuruhum. So nuruhum is matu falatu ajru. I think ajru. Yeah. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. And, there is, and there is exclusivity proper. We can exactly. say yes. Yes, yeah. Because of Okay, uh, so how are we going to say? Can you translate? Yeah, for them, uh, ajr and for them is a uh, light. Uh, they are ajr and then they are nur. They are nur. Yeah. Their Noor and their Ajar is only, only for them. SubhanAllah. <laughs> and you know, this is uh, uh, part of uh, Surat Hadid. And this is talking about when, uh, like, uh, there is going to be wall, fall between disbelievers, not disbelievers, basically, Munafikin and Mumineen. Right, 
so the monastic will say that stop 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 what like you know that believers basically the ayah is saying i wish i can dig it the whole ayah but uh, then we don't uh, we will have not have enough time for finish our lesson so just want to say quickly it is basically um, you know it, it is saying that believers their iman gonna be coming out of their right hand and from their chest and it depends that how much uh, believing life you had spent in this world accordingly you're gonna have your nur on that day when you are crossing the bridge right so this is pitch dark so how much you what kind of life you are uh, spending over here you will see over there by the nur so the believers are going and they have mashallah a lot of nur right and the munafiqeen they are trying to run behind them because they need some nur and they do not have enough nur right or not at all so they are trying to grab some nur from them and they are even saying that can you guys stop slow down we know some we need some light and they are sell, they are going to be tell that go back to the dunya do good deeds and find your nur subhanallah and then what gonna happen a wall is going to be dropped between believers and munafiqeen right it says that uh, on the side of munafiqeen there would be punishment and over here are blessings right and then uh, they and uh, they would be and that is the part over here that there would be this, uh, um, like the angels would say, tell them that their nur and their ajr is only for the believers to get, right? And uh, no boys. Boys, please. Yeah, we lost the voice, no sound. Sending a text to see if her, how they can tell her. Uh, her thing is on, but no voice. Let's see. Maybe somebody can call the girls in the group. Yes, I'm here. I'm back. I'm, I'm back. calling. Oh. Okay. All right. <laughs> I was calling you too. I call. Saima, she's not picking up. <laughs> so we lost you on uh, like well, a few yeah. minutes ago now. Doing good. Uh, 
mirror for the task. This is okay. I'm so sorry. Okay, so number two, we were doing. Did you, uh, you guys, uh, we were done uh, number one when you lost me. Did you guys? Yeah, we we were done number one. We did okay. Okay, so now we're starting number, number two. Okay, so Walil Kafirina Zabuna Limon, who is ready to do it? Uh, let me try. Hmm? Raisha. Okay, hmm? Walil Kafirina. Hmm? That's going to be uh, MBK there. Hmm? Mukaddam. Hmm? Uh, Azimun Aimu. This is a. Uh, uh, Azabun Alimun. Azab, Azabu Alimun, yeah. So that's a uh, mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, Muptada. Mm -hmm. And this Muptada, what is uh, the construction? As a. Sifa. Azabu. Mosuf Sifa. Mosuf Sifa fragment. So Mosuf fragment. Sifa fragment is coming as a mm -hmm. Muptada. And it is Muptada. common here. Okay. Yeah. It's uh, common. So the, right? so that's that common, means yes. We can count it as exclusivity or not? No, it's not ex exclusivity no. because it's common. Mubtada is common. Mubtada is common. Yeah. Okay, this is Nakira. So that's why Nakira. we are not mm. going to count as a exclusivity. We cannot say as Abu Nalim is only for Kafirin. Kafirin why yeah. not? Because as Abu Nalim um, could be for. It's common. It's co it could Kafirin. be like Nafin and Kafirin. Okay. And... So basically, the Muslims. Mm. And uh, um, one scholar I was listening and he said that uh, we talk about Pulsarat and uh, uh, that uh, uh, Iraf. The Iraf is the place where the people will be standing because their good and bad, good and bad are same, right? Mm -hmm. So they would be waiting, I don't know for how long, right? And yeah. we can imagine how stressful it will, oh. it will be. Yeah. And it is said mm -hmm. that believe, uh, uh, disbelievers already in Jahannam. So all this Pulsrat thing and all this Araf thing is basically Muslims. And basically Muslims, Munafikin and believers. Right? So their job is the Kafirin, they are already done because they were Kafir, right? So nothing to do anything. Unke, their uh, good deeds are not going to be count because they were not on Tawheed. Right? Mm -hmm. So everything nullified their job is done. So the, all these things is basically Muslims, right? So we need to think what category we fall into Muslims, subhanAllah. So basically the that scale, is- The scale of the uh, yeah. the, contradiction, the The translation will be uh, for the disbeliever is severe uh, punishment. So no, we need to start Abu Nalimun first because this is our oh. Mubtada, right? So okay. there the, is, we can bring there, there is, over here. Okay, yeah, so there, there is a painful punishment, punishment for the disbeliever. Yes. For the disbelievers. So painful punishment for disbelievers. But there is not only over here, okay? No exclusivity. Yes. Next one. Lana amaluna walakum amalukum. So what kind of word is Lana? Jar Majur fragment. Okay, next one. Jar Majur fragment. 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 Jar yeah, it is mudaf. We all, you already said this is Zidafa fragment, but but amalu status. So 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 it's a light. Yes. Yeah, so what role it is playing? It's the lana amalu. You will have muktada. That's what I wanna hear. Okay. So amalu na is our muktada. So this is lana M B K, and that is M B K mukaddam. MQ, I'm going to write for that. And Amu, Amaluna is uh, Muqtada Mu'akhfar. Okay, but is it uh, um, uh, like uh, proper or uh, common? Proper. Proper, so that, proper. Means, that means... That means... That means... Is there. 
and how mm-hmm. we gonna translate no you should us, wait. Is gonna for us, for us um, and for you no um, not for us we are going to always translate muptada first so our amal are only for us uh, our deeds are all only for us our amal our deeds are only for us okay wa then wow is uh, ata okay. right mm-hmm. and lakum is again majroor again jar majroor muqaddam amalukum mudaf mudaf muqaddam and idafa fragment and how are we going to translate your amal is only for you only and your deeds your amal is only for you simple and easy and you. Yeah. right your deeds are only for and now yes, wow came right so motufun ala what is motufun ala to what can i say the walakum amalukum is the mutafilahi to lana amaluna because there are two fragments right no we gonna say the whole thing lakum amalukum the whole thing basically this is a sentence right so yes. the whole sentence is matufun ala to this ala. previous sentence, previous sentence. Amaluna. yes okay so lana amaluna wa lakum amalukum is basically they we can consider as one chain okay so this is uh, they are together because of this wow whatever label this will get well, we need to look what is before right so that will uh, let us know that how they are going to be in one bucket okay so see how beautiful it is subhanallah now you guys need to when you recite quran e pak you guys need to pay attention to all these small details okay then uh, still we are working on there is so fi qulubihim maradun we did this last class so fi is her fujar right qulubi no. is is majroor qulubihim and then him is uh, uh, idafa fragment right mm-hmm. and then maradun Rafa. Rafa, so Muptada. Muptada, yeah. Muptada, Muptar. But Muptada. it is common or proper? Uh, it's common. It's a common. common. So exclusivity or not? No. 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 no so this is a normal it's... sentence. We're going to say there is a disease in their hearts. There is a disease in their hearts. So there is no particular group. of people allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking everyone can have a disease of munafiqat in their hearts everyone no one is safe from it wa baina huma hijabun hamare hamare ex mein bhi hai na we have munafiqat in our ex we say something but we do di- uh, things differently oh you mean actions exactly so munafiqat wa baina huma hijabun now baina is special mudaf right and huma is its mudaf ilahi so this is mbk mbk yeah muqaddam right and then hijabun muqtada it's a muqtada muqtada No. very good muqtada muakhir nakira okay so there is no exclusivity we're going to say and there is a barrier between two of them there is barrier between both uh, be- between two of them baina huma hijabun what aya uh, what uh, surah is it is that surah rahman no Thing is Rahman. Surah Araf, I think, because in Araf they, they. Yeah. Things, I think. Yeah. yeah, I think Araf. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> Complex sentence. Having a sentence as a khabar. Okay. So so far, we are learning that khabar. We saw khabar uh, uh, like as a mufridism, or, um, yeah, basically mufridism because. Uh, jar majroor fragment some people they call them as a shibu jumla khabar 
I think I mentioned that last class, right? Yes. So some in some grammatical books, you're gonna say that shibu jumla, which we say jar majur basically. So they call them shibu jumla khabar, right? Shibu jumla khabar mean it is like a khabar. Shibu mean shabahat, right? So it's like a khabar. It's not khabar, but it's like a khabar. So that. Uh, that is the term, but we're gonna just take that, okay? Um, we are saying that khabar uh, visa as one word, one is some, right? But now we will see in a complex sentence uh, that uh, the khabar can be whole sentence. It could be jumla ismiya, whole jumla ismiya is coming as a khabar or jumla failure is coming as a khabar. Okay, so let's see over here. It says haza. What kind of word is haza? Pointer. Yeah. Pointer. So this is a pointer. Okay, what do we know special about pointers? They are always proper. Okay, they are always proper. Always proper. Okay. If there is a, and if there is al, then it will be. Uh, a fragment if no al then it's a sentence after. exactly that's what it's i want to hear so basically pointers they either can make a fragment right or, or a sentence jumla so when they are fragment if they have al after this pointer if you see al then it is a fragment if no al then it is a sentence simple and easy right so now haza, if, uh, do you see al over there after haza? No, right? So no. that means this haza is my muktada. Right? And then it says hu al haqqu. What is huwa over here? What do we know about huwa? Very good, independent pronoun and they are, are always Rafa and can label them as Muktada. They are all Muktada basically. Okay? So that means we have Muktada and Al Haku is basically Khabar over here. So now, what is this Hu Al Haku doing here? This is basically a complete Jumla Ismiya coming as a Khabar of this Hada. Okay, so Haza Hu Al Haku. Haza is my Muptada and Huwal Haku is the Khabar of this Haza. And then we can further break down because this is not one word. So we need to further break down. We need to say Huwa is Muptada and Al Haku is the Khabar. And how are we going to translate? This, it is, this is the truth or it is the truth. So is there any emphasis? Yes. Yes. Yes, so there too. So whenever that yes. happens, it is going to be basically very emphatic sentence. Because twice it's been a this. Place. This is the truth. Right? So remember I said then there is two stress. So that means there is some doubtful audience doubtful in front audience, of you. Yeah. And you are yeah. trying to convince that person. Okay? So that is the reason. So haza hu al haku. Yes, this is the truth. Okay, so don't be in doubt. Next one. Inna ka, how are we going to label inna ka? And this is also Muktada. Inna plus harfu. Harfu of nasab. Harfu of nasab. Yeah, harfu nasab plus ka is the isam. Muktada. Then, what is anta? Then again, anta is independent. Independent. Pronoun. Yeah, oh, so God. that is supposed to be another muptada, yes. right? So then Allah mul uyub, what is Allah mul uyub? It's idafa. Yeah, this is our idafa fragment. So basically, this is the khabar then. Yes. Okay, so inna ka is muptada, where is the khabar? The whole thing. Yeah. Anta Allah mul uyubi. So it's the whole jumla ismiya. Is the khabar of 
this inna ka. And then we can further break down and we can say anta is muqtada and Allah al guyubi is the khabar. Okay, this is one way. Other way is you can just say inna ka is muqtada, anta is another muqtada and Allah al guyubi is the khabar of inna. Okay, so these two ways we can uh, analyze the, uh, that kind of sentences. But we can say they are very emphatic sentences. Why? Because inna ka, indeed you are. So this ka is over here. Then again anta came. Right? Indeed you are. You are the one who uh, is the know, uh, knower of the unseen. Okay, so very emphatic. Next one. Inna hum humu sufahau. So inna hum is what? Again, it's her professor. Yeah, plus it's them. So what is it here? Muptada. Muptada. Then hum is my another muptada. And sufahau is the khabar of inna. Khabar of inna. And what is the other way to do it? I can say inna hum is my muptada. And the whole mm -hmm. jumla ismiya is my khabar. And how are we going to translate? Indeed, they, Indeed. they yeah. are. This is also emphatic. They are, they are, they are foolish. Indeed, they are. They are the foolish one. They are foolish. Right? Because they were, they were telling believers that they are foolish. They are yeah. uh, like uh, wasting their wealth, right? By um, freeing the slaves. They used to call Hazrat Abu Bakr, even his father, the father of Hazrat Abu Bakr, used to call him stupid. Because what Hazrat Abu Bakr used to do? He used to do take very weak slave who does not do anything and uh, give the money to his uh, uh, honor, master, and free that person. So his father used to say, why not you just free the slave that can help you out? Why these people who cannot do anything? But he didn't know what Hazrat Abu Bakr is doing. Subhanallah, right? So people, the disbeliever used to call them stupid. These people are stupid. Spending their money left, right. They are ready to kill themselves for Islam, right? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, inna whom indeed they are. They are the stupid. Right? They are the stupid. They are the foolish one, not the believers. Subhanallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is defending them. I had, Sister Rahat, so this mm -hmm. one is Shibu Zumla. Which one is the Shibu Jumla? There so is no Sufaha. No? Shibu Jumla is Jar Majur fragment. Jar Majur. Okay. Jazakallah khair. Okay. Okay. And then it says, Inna Haza. So Inna. And then Hada, what is this Hada doing here? It's Muinna. So this is my Muqtada. And then Lahua. See, you always do that. What is this who? Basically, this is Hua uh, Huma uh, Hum, right? So this is independent pronoun. Can Jar Mashur come with the independent pronoun, Hasra? Lahum. Yeah. Independent pronoun. No. Attached pronoun. So Ajar Majroor uh, 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 always with the attached pronoun, not with the independence. This who is independent, right? So this yeah, Lam is Lam of emphasis. We know that with Inna, we can have Lam of emphasis, right? Another Tokid over here is coming. So Inna Haza, indeed, this is Lahuwa. No doubt about it, definitely. So this lam is definitely no doubt. We can bring it another time. Hua, it is kasasul haku, the true narration. This is the true narration, true kissa, true story. Hmm? 
दुआ जो इंडिपेंडेंट प्रोनाउन होते हैं वो कभी किसी तरह अटैच नहीं आते हैं चाहे वो शुरू में हो चाहे आखिर में तो फिर ला जो है फिर किस तरह लाम लाम के साथ इस्लाम ऑफ इब्तदा इस्लाम अटैच विद इंडिपेंडेंट प्रोनाउन ओके या लहुम विजस लहुम अजरुहुम व नूरुहुम ओ दैट इज जार मजूर सॉरी 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 या बट दिस इज लामु इब्तिदा दिस व्हेन एवर यू सी इन्ना एंड आफ्टर दैट यू सी लाम इट कैन बी विद द इंडिपेंडेंट प्रोनाउन और इट कुड बी विद एनीथिंग एल्स या बट व्हेन एवर द इंडिपेंडेंट प्रोनाउन कुरान पाक आई थिंक basically. Okay, so this is Lam of emphasis. That's why we're gonna say definitely, no doubt about it. Lo hua. This is kasa sulhaku, the true narration. Okay, so it is very emphatic. So how many emphases we see? One is inna. Other one is this Lam. Lam yes. So two emphases. What kind of audience? Two emphases. Yeah. Two emphases is refutation. So oh. someone is denying. Two emphases oh, yeah. is refutation. What is refutation to negate? Negate. Yeah. Like someone is really in the argument, but Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is kind of refuting uh, the fact over there. Wa ulai ka hum wakudun nari. So what is wa and ulai ka? प्लूरल पॉइंटर सो वाई का एंड दे आर एंड देन हुम What is whom? They. Another pro- independent mm-hmm. pronoun. So that is our mukteda. Another mukteda. Yes. Waku dun nari. What is waku dun nari? Khabar. No, mm-hmm. this wa is part of uh, the. Matu. No, wa is matu. Waku dun mean one word. This is mean fuel. So fuel mm-hmm. of hellfire. Ifa masu. Ifa idafa. फ्यूल फॉर द fire so like emphasis for two time they are those are they yeah. are the uh, fuel of hell fire yes those are they we have are. to translate the wa to the the uh, wow here uh, mm-hmm. like this there's no wow oh yeah first one wow like and those yes yeah. and those and those and those they are the fuel of hell fire they are fuel of hell fire Here you can say yes, in a nari. Yes. Yeah. So here uh, this this one that's where you can say uh, uh, she she was asking the the word of uh, oh my god shibu jubla shibu jubla habar. This yeah, is no, where we can use it. No shibu jubla. Yeah. No. No shibu. Wa, wa, 
مجرور خبر دس از ایزی سو دیٹ وائی ایم گونا کیپ ڈوئنگ اٹ و ربونا آور رب سو دس از مائی مبتدا بلا ام میر ربی کو مزیم دس از بیسکلی ایوری تھنگ از ریٹرن سو یو گیٹس کین ریڈ تھرو وائی ناٹ وی ڈو سم تھنگ وچ اوکے وی ڈیڈ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم بفور رائٹ دا گرامیٹیکل انالیسس ڈیڈ وی نو آئی تھنگ وی ڈیڈ بٹ وی کین ریپلیس اوکے سو ہو کین ڈو اٹ مجرور فار دا بی از فجر me is light okay yeah. no al yes. right so that's why and then the next word is jar in status so that's why we are considering them as yeah. idafa fragment okay illahi la bahar fujar ismi mudaf yes right and then uh, is the me... word al is mudaf ilayhi yeah so okay. ismi bil majrur and plus we can say mudaf for word loves allah jalla jalla Yeah, exactly. And then Ar-Rahmani and Ar-Rahimi, as you said, it's a sifa and uh, the last name, so attribution of the adjective. We can say here, uh, Rahmani, Rahim is a sifa, right? But yeah, sifa number one. Sifa number one for uh, word Allah and sifa number two for yes. the word Allah. Because... Ar-Rahmani, why it is jar in status? There is no it's other word reason for it's this different. word to be jar in status. It, Unless it is following someone. Mm-hmm. And what following. it is following, it is following the word Allah. 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 Okay? Allah. And the word Allah, the, uh, Allah is the name of uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his personal name. So mm-hmm. that's why it can have sifa. Right? But yes. Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, they are the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we cannot say that they are Sifa Musuf to each other. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Subhanallah. So that is easy. Okay, then. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Did we do that before? No. 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 Uh, okay. we, we didn't do with this uh, rules i mean i think we did before with the rafa and the, uh, okay. all arab but not yeah. with these rules not with these rules yeah okay okay so let's do it then hmm? anyone else can do otherwise i will do hmm. anyone else ready do? anyone else please alham i can i can hmm. try hmm. alhamdulillah hmm. rabbil alamin alhamdu 
this uh, uh, rafa status so this mm-hmm. is a uh, mubtada mm-hmm. lillahi jar mm-hmm. majrur is uh, mbk mm-hmm. now you can say this is shibu jumla khabar okay all right shibu okay. shibu jumla khabar yeah, yeah. okay rab 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 lal amin rab is a uh, uh, light here mm-hmm. and alamina it's a uh, so this is like this is alamina 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 what status is alamina what status is that's that's all the words all the words as a alamuna alamina alamina because why it is jar jar رب right alamina is and then yeah. alamin is the mudaf ilahi of mudaf rabbi ilahi. that's why it is jar okay. and now yeah. we okay. can say the rabbi is the sifa of the word allah over here because then, yeah. then uh, otherwise there is no reason for this uh, word being jar over here jar mm-hmm. okay so and this is sifa number 1 rabbil alamin rab of the words so sadaji lillahi rabbil alamin then it will be masuf sifa jo yeah that's what i'm saying so the word allah is masuf and the rabbil alamin is rabbil alamin rabbil alamin, rabbil alamin is one bucket so rabbil alamin is basically the oh. sifa of the word so three allah. three fragments are going on here jar majrur uh, masuf sifa and mudaf uh, idafa fragment right exactly. subhan allah sister rahat can we use it yeah. as a, a khabar which one uh, uh rabbil alamin basically the whole uh, thing lillahi rabbil alamin if you want to call it shibu jumla khabar because they are Shibu-jumla one bucket khabar. right yeah, okay because they are connected to each other right mm-hmm. so you guys can say shibu jumla khabar if you would mm-hmm. like okay. use the term okay to to uh, and the whole thing is basically <clears throat> mb k over here mb k and then we are uh, breaking this mbk further and we are saying and that lillahi is jar majrur and then mm-hmm. rabbi is the sifa of uh, the word allah and alamin is the mudaf ilahi for mudaf ilahi subhanallah just four words and it is whatever we learned so far <laughs> we can put in there mind blowing <laughs> subhanallah subhanallah <laughs> We, how many week we have spent and this is our thing right subhanallah yeah 20 lesson to just <laughs> dissect one uh, phrase on the exactly. uh, exactly. <laughs> exactly exactly okay then ar rahmani and ar rahimi so these are also the sifat situation of yeah. one per situation of sifat yeah okay who is that can you use, uh, do that uh, sister who is that other than uh, sister mumtaz assalam alaikum this is refer yeah refer the, it is ar rahman ar rahim is the basically continuation of the sifat of uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Mm-hmm. because uh, word allah uh, uh, is uh, lillahi is a jar majrur fragment and then if we see that way then rabbi uh, um, rabbil alamin is also uh, uh, the sifat of uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and mm-hmm. arrahman arrahim uh, is also the continuation of um, the sifat of continuation of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala subhanallah so rabbil alamin is sifa number 1 arrahmani is sifa number 2 ar rahimi is sifa number 3 so three sifat so far subhanallah right and did i explain you guys the difference between ar rahman and ar rahim because they both are coming from the word rah- rahim rahima 
these are the root letter rahima why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is using two words from the same root letter did i explain that before um, yeah, you said like uh, Rahman is like Rahman is like journal and Rahim Allah will be Rahim for the Akhira. Yeah. So Rahman is on the pattern of Atshan, Ghadban, Jawan, Rahman, Fa'alan. This is the pattern. Fa'alan. So basically, this An at the end of this Isam is making it special. That is called Sigatul Mubaliga. Sigatul Mubaliga means there is intensity, there is abundance, two things. Intensity, what is intensity? Like an Shittat, right? And what is, uh, what was the other word? Abundance. What is abundance? Uh, it's like, like a kasrat. plenty, like a continuous plenty. Like more. Kasrat. More. Kasrat, yeah. Okay. So shiddat and kasrat. So these two things, when this pattern happens, these two, uh, two things are there in Sigatul Mubaliga. Now, this ani at the very end is basically uh, it's saying that yes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Rahman on the whole mankind. But this ani is telling us that this state is not permanent. <clears throat> this state is not permanent. One point will come that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not be Rahman anymore, but he would be Rahim. Right? Why I'm saying that? Because Atshan means very thirsty, extremely thirsty. You are about to die. Okay? And then what's going to happen if I give you one glass of water? You're going to drink one. I'm going to give you another one. You can drink another one. Then I can even ask you for any other sweet drink. Maybe you can drink that one. But if I give you the fourth one, no, thank you so much. I'm good. So your thirst is gone. Ghadban, you are too angry. You are about to kill someone. You are that angry, right? But this Ghadab can go. Right? You, someone can calm you down. Jawan. So same idea. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Rahman right now with Shiddat, with abundance. Right? We are doing left and right all these sins. Right? But he is still showing uh, his Rahmaniyat. But this Rahmaniyat is not going to be permanent. On the day of judgment, he would be Rahim. Not Rahman on everyone. The Kufar, the Munafikin, no Rahma for them. Right? So he, he would be Rahim. Rahim, Rahman is general uh, mercy. So he is uh, Rahman right now. He is uh, uh, like showing mercy to everyone. Doesn't matter who believe on him or doesn't. But it is going to end. And then he would be Rahim to only who believe on him on the day of judgment. Exclusive, that's the word we can use. Yeah, so our Rahim is exclusivity, especially. So that's why we say that uh, uh, he is most merciful. I don't know uh, how we can translate, but I can show you now. You're going to find out. So our, our Rahim, our Rahman, uh, he is, uh, how we can put that in, in words? He is, Rahman means his mercy is for generally all his creation. Yeah, but can we all all use one word? one word? Yeah, for Rahman, like he's showing mercy right now <laughs> and Ar-Rahim is uh, his special mercy. Yes, yeah, special mercy. It also calls beneficent. Surah Rahman's definition is also like a benefit, right? Beneficent. Beneficent, yeah. Right now, we can say beneficent right now and Ar Rahim, especially merciful on the day of judgment. Okay. And then Maliki Yomiddin, just last uh, part of it, and then we're going to end our class here. Wa Maliki. Maliki or Maliki, both ways we can read that. So Maliki, again, why it is Jar? 
Okay, and then Maliki is light, no al, mm -hmm. yes, and then Yomi, yeah, it's so idafa. It's the idafa fragment. Idafa. And idafa. then again, Yomi is light, no al, in other idafa, but see, so there's another idafa, idafa going on, yeah. Okay, so he is the honor, he is the king of the day of judgment, no other king gonna have any influence on that day only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala right so this is the sifa number four for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala subhanallah so possession in all sorry so possession in all yeah exactly yeah uh, I have a question now Sada. Hmm? Hmm? so Ar-Rahimi so only he will be merc merciful to only the believers Exactly. Have... Yeah. Yeah. Not Do you think he's going to show mercy on uh, disbelievers? No, they are burning in hellfire. In yeah, on the day of judgment, on the Akhira. Right? So he is merciful right now in this dunya. And this Ar Rahim, he is merciful on the day of judgment for the believers because it says that on the day of judgment, believers are going to feel like other people are, these are, uh, I think, uh, 50,000 year long is the day of judgment, right? So people are drowning in their sweat. But for the believers, it would be like uh, between the time, like between Asar and Maghrib. They're going to feel their time, right? So that is all mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? So he's going to show mercy on the day of judgment for the believers only. So inshallah. We can end that uh, our session with it. Uh, okay, one more thing. Since we are on the topic right now, I'm gonna just uh, say it because otherwise um, that time not gonna come back, back again. So for Bismillah over here, we say we analyze that and we see is that a sentence or a bunch of fragments together. What do you guys think? So by Sarfujar, then it's a Samajur fragment. And then we have uh, Idafa <laughs> fragment, right? And then we have Mosuf Sifa fragment. So do you see any Isam by itself as Muktada, or do you see any fail? And then we have mm. some, something related. Do you guys see anything, any sentence? No, because they're no, supposed to be like Rafa, a, yeah. Rafa status and we cannot see yeah. what the is a Rafa here. Like a there Kale is nothing. Yeah. So basically, this is a fragment. So Bismillah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is not a sentence. Ladies, you need to listen. This is important. Saima. Yeah. So this is Bismillah Rahman Rahim. This, the whole thing, they say a hundred times in a day. Is that a sentence or a fragment? Fragment. 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 These are bunch of fragments. This is not even a sentence. Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not Allah the most merciful, the most rewarding. So basically they all are fragments. These are all fragments. So did uh, we uh, ever think about it? Why fragment? Why not a sentence? Subhanallah. The reason is the scholar says basically if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says akrau I read, I recite, or whatever you are doing, you're going to put that fail and then say, I say, I do that in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who is merciful and uh, Rahim. So then this statement was specific to that, that right. act only. Oh. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala left it open and did exactly. So it doesn't matter what you're doing. You just say Bismillah, and that means whatever you are doing, you are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy and uh, help in that matter. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. We never Subhanallah. Think yeah, eating, sleeping, drinking, everything. Yeah. Open and exactly. single. Yeah. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Okay, so with that, inshallah, we can end our session. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Quran al Hakim. وَنَفَانِي وَإِيَّاكُمْ بِآيَاتِي وَالذِّكْرِ الْحَكِيمِ سُبْحَانَكَ اللَّهُمَّ وَبِهَمْدِكَ 